Great, so welcome back to chapter 5.1. We are now continuing on, so we'll call this 5.1b. We're now looking at the area and the perimeter of a parallelogram. And in class, we're going to be doing a quick little demonstration of, of how these formula actually work when uh, using graph paper. But when we remember earlier, all rectangles, squares, and rhombi are all parallelograms. So if we know the formula for a rectangle, then we actually know the area, um, the area, sorry, the formulas for a parallelogram. So if you remember a rectangle, in order to calculate its area, you did length times width. Well, if we're going to be using a parallelogram, then we also do, instead of length times width, we change the words to base and height. But the height is not the slant side of it, but it's actually the 90 degree height. Just like in a rectangle, it's the 90 degree width. In a parallelogram, it's the 90 degree height. So which means you might need to measure it in the parallelogram itself. So it means the area of a parallelogram, I use a little symbol here to represent parallelogram, equals base times height. Just like in a rectangle, it's length times width. Because the width is a little bit confusing, we use the word height to represent the inside altitude of the shape. So let's solve this first one. What is the area of a parallelogram with a base of 10 centimeters and a height of 12 centimeters? We always write our formula first in geometry, so area of a parallelogram equals base times height. And then we're going to put the numbers in. We know that the base is 10 centimeters, and then the height is 12 centimeters. So once we multiply these together, we multiply the numbers together. So 10 times 12 is 120. And centimeters times centimeters, if we remember from earlier chapters, is centimeters squared, because it's 2 centimeters multiplied by each other. So the area of this parallelogram is 120 centimeters squared. Now a second example is asking is the question what is the height of a 100 centimeter 100 centimeter squared parallelogram with a base of 8 centimeters so let's just fig, plug in this information in our formula area is equal to base times height now we know that we know this part and this 100 centimeters squared is the area so 100 centimeters squared is the area we know the base is 8 centimeters and what we don't know is the height so the height is the one that's our question mark right now. Now how do we solve this? In our heads we have to ask ourselves 8 times what gives 100? Well this might be a tricky question so we, we can undo this problem by doing division. So 8 times something gives 100 is the same thing as 100 divided by 8 gives that something or that height. Now on our calculators, we do 100 divided by 8. So let's just pull up this calculator over here. 100 divided by 8. And I get 12.5. Now what are our units here? We have centimeters squared divided by centimeters. So you're working backwards. It's like centimeters squared is equal to centimeters times what? Well, it's times centimeters. So our height in this case is 12.5 centimeters. If I wanted to check my answer, then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll plug it in my original equation, area is equal to base times height, area is equal to 8 centimeters times 12 centimeters, and area of my parallelogram equals 100 and then centimeters squared. So I know then because my, I get back the same number I originally started with, that my height is at 12.5 centimeters. So looking at memorizing this equation and knowing how to move the numbers around, we'll be practicing that in class as well, and we'll be using some of the examples in the textbook. Great, so hopefully you understood.